and welcome back to DBX Labs. Today we're going to be making silver nitrate. So in order to make silver nitrate, we're of course going to need some silver metal. In my case, the source of silver is a silver bullion coin. It's uh, approximately one troy ounce of silver. And um, first we place it in the beaker and fill it with some nitric acid. In my case, I'm using concentrated nitric acid, well, red fuming nitric acid, uh, and I will have to dilute it. But uh, for now, you can see the passivation layer that forms on top of the silver, that silver nitrate that forms, but it passivizes uh, the, the coin. Well, it prevents the acid from attacking the coin through a layer of oxide. As I turn on the heat, the silver coin uh, starts to react but it doesn't react to the degree I'd like it to, so I add some water, and that destroys the passivation layer, uh, which allows the formation of silver nitrates rapidly, and at that point, I let it react until there's no coin left, and I'm left with this yellow solution, which should be pure silver nitrate, and out the precipitate comes, it's uh, very dense and white. It's likely very crude, but we can do a recrystallization. At this point, you don't really have to do a recrystallization, but I'm going to do it anyway, because uh, why not? So in the recrystallization, I add some water, heat the crude mix up and we get really nice crystals coming out of solution um, and I got a good time lapse of that and there are the crystals so why bother to make silver nitrate in the first place well silver makes a useful cation especially in energetics due to its inert nature in the metal form and its low electropositivity these characteristics make its salts with already energetic anions especially unstable, often more so than in comparison to other cations like copper and mercury. A good example of this is silver fulminate. The fulminate anion is unstable in its own right, wanting to decompose into its base components largely due to its molecular structure. But the introduction of the silver cation puts the newly formed fulminate salt into a whole new realm of instability. This concept also applies to tetrazole derivatives and their salts, where silver plays a key role in producing effective flame-sensitive primaries. And besides that, silver nitrate can also turn your skin into a UV-sensitive canvas, which is pretty epic. At least I think it's pretty epic. <laughs> 